Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Owen Camille Trent. Today is Mini Monday Madness. Yes, I do lots of minis on Mondays. Why not? It's fun. This is a three inch by three inch, 100% uh, Arches cold press paper I cut and I taped down washi tape. Actually, I stuck some magic tape on there because the washi was coming up. It's not the best tape. And we're gonna do a really simple, easy, fun, sweet little landscape, similar to the one that I did, that I showed on my Instagram, looks like this. So let's get started. And you know, just using any kind of watercolor paints you have. Um, I have a bunch of greens in here, hooker's green. I have a turquoise and yellow. And, and this, this technique is the wet on wet technique. So let me blow this up so you can see. There we go, focus it. Good. So let's get started. Just gonna go across bottom. Now I made a little blur right here because I got paint on my finger, but it's going to be all gone in a minute. You can keep this line as low to the bottom as you want or high to the bottom as you want, whatever placement you want. And you're going to grab some yellow green, just bleed that. Work your way up to here, a little darker. Throw on some hooker's green. Maybe add a little brown, black to that, make it a little darker. I'm just gonna put some more water in here and mush it around. Not too much, and add some more of the green, yellow. Doesn't have to be perfect right now. We're just placing color down. Gonna have some darkness in the corners. Whatever you choose. Now, we're gonna let this dry. I will dry it and come back to it. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Um, I removed the washi tape because it was just coming up as I was blow drying its crap. So I have Scotch Magic tape down. Other people like use blue tape. You know, do whatever works for you. I've been using this tape for ever. What I do for the tape is I tape take off the piece of tape. I put it on my, my pants or shirt just to make it put some fibers on there so it's not so sticky and then I tape it down so it doesn't rip the paper. So now we're going to do get a clean the sky. Get this part all wet. And the sky be like an aqua blue. or even blue blue. Get some blue here. And I start from the top. I work my way. Let it bleed down. At the same time, I know, working two ways at once. I'm going to grab really wet, 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 like hooker's green. Really wet. I'm just gonna dab. And watch the trees come alive. Just gonna dab. I'm just gonna do like three. Three trees. See, so just dab that. Now the blue is still bleeding. You can kind of push the paint. I'll clean your brush. Mine wasn't that clean. Clean it, dab it on the your paper towel. And push it down. Try not to bleed too much with the green. So that was not really showing depth of the color. Oops. Bear with me. 
this is what happens when you're painting live tutorials. Okay. So that blue is bleeding down. I'm dabbing in there. Have it bleed down a little more. And you can kind of wipe it away if you don't like it coming down too much. And push it down a little more. I'm going to add a little deeper blue on top. Just dabbing it. You see that? And then take it away a little bit. Okay, go back to the trees with a, your hooker's green a little more concentrated, less watery. See that's still wet. Dip and dabbing. Just touching it, like little dabs the bottom. And get it even darker, adding some black, or you can add um, indigo, make it a more blue green on the bottom. Just little dabs. No, it might be a little too dark, so I might let it thin that out with some water. Remember, this is going to dry lighter than it is. And we're just dabbing the trees. See how fun that is? You can go back to this ground and you can add in various tones of greens again. That's a little too concentrated, so I'm going to wet that down. And it's very bright, so let's tone it down. And I can wet it again and take it away like a brush. I mean, I'm sorry, like a mop. dark there. I'm going to take it away. Just play around with how you want the the field to look. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now, I'm going to blow dry this again and come back to you. And we're back. By the way, the brush I was using before I mean, doesn't have to be the same brush as mine, but I'm using, I was using a Grumbacher number 10 golden edge round. And now I'm going to use a Grumbacher number two. Oops. Very tiny brush. Get some dark green, hookers green, mixed with some bright medium green. And we're gonna do some grass. Just swiping from the bottom up left, right, left, right, like that, left, right, see, to make it look more natural. Keep playing around with the darkness. Put some little ones out here. Really simple. I'm going to add a little 
dark green down here. Love the tree. Keep adding them wherever you feel like it. And now I'm going to add some color. Not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bright pinkish red. It's almost like little flowers in the field. You can see that. I will zoom in a little more. And then some yellow. Grabbing some white gouache because it's opaque and it will go on top of any watercolor. Two more white ones. Just makes it a little more delicate. Give you that dreamy kind of landscape. Impressionistic look. Hmm. There you have it. Now we'll just remove the tape. I'm peeling <laughs> some of the cardboard off. To reveal the picture. As you can see, I'm revealing the cardboard off the back. I use, we use the back of um, the pads and paint on them. There you have it. Throw this tape away. Look how cute that is. Let me scroll down. Look how cute. You have a mini masterpiece. Well, I hope you like this little tutorial. And thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And please like and subscribe and share if you like this video. Have a great Monday, everyone.